against your spine. We're talking about the trochanter belt today. This is your sacroiliac joints right here. Usually pretty broad, stable joints. Um, what can happen, especially if you notice that when you're laying on your side and getting adjusted, that you have more pain, it could be there's some strain here or a sprain in the SI joint. So to help that heal, we utilize the belts. So there's three straps. What you do is put it around Mr. Skeleton here. And you want a little bit lower than your normal belt. See how it kind of comes right above this hip bone? That's right about where you want it. And that's actually going to help hold those hips in the socket. A lot of times what we have is this tight piriformis muscle and that's causing that extra rotation which is forcing these joints to open up and some people have that on both sides or just one side either way the belt's going to help by locking it down so you squeeze that first strap tight as you can get it and then do the other straps so i'll show it on myself because he's a little too skinny he needs a, he needs a bag of chips so I'll find my hips, find my pelvis sometimes, and I'll walk my way down about two inches, or I'll just find those hips. Generally, it's gonna be like below your belt, unless you're wearing it pretty low. Find those hips. I'm gonna get that pretty tight. We're always a little stuck the first time. Pull it forward, squeeze nice and tight. Make sure they're centered in the back. It doesn't have to be exact, but you'll notice it when you're putting it on. This actually feels pretty good. So I was playing frisbee yesterday. So. so when you're here, make sure you're tightening in those deep hip flexors, and that's going to help put your weight here, center gravity on your hip bones where it should be. Sometimes with those hamstrings are really tight, it kind of pulls us back. Center of gravity is in the sacroiliac joint, which is kind of causing the issue to begin with. It's causing that wear and tear. So when we put our weight over our hips, and the belt's gonna help you do that, it's gonna engaging. And we're creating more motion here, and less motion here. That's the way to fix it. So you can actually wear this belt underneath your pants if you want to, or under a shirt, so no one has to see it. Because I know it's not good to wear white, you know. <laughs> Looks good. Uh, only wear it when you're walking. No reason to wear it when you're sitting.